Okay, um, so ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is just kind of go over so you guys can check your answer in regard to what are the corresponding parts um, for these two. Tri triangles. So remember, corresponding parts, that, um, those are going to be our angles that are you know, in the same different, uh, um, same portion of our triangle that are going to be uh, equal in measure. So we look at this, and we can say that, well, since this has one little arc and this has one arc, we can say that our r, angle r, is going to be congruent to angle j. All right, then we could see angle t is congruent to angle K. And angle S is congruent to angle L. All right, But I want you to find all of the congruent parts um, of this looking at uh, angles as well as, as well as the sides. So to go ahead and rewrite the sides, now I'm just going to look at what are the tick marks. Remember when the tick marks represent that they have the exact same measurement. So over here, you can see that uh, side TS, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to write this in. Triangle RST is congruent to triangle JLK. Sorry, that's kind of important for us to be able to determine our corresponding parts, because not only are they corresponding, but they're also um, congruent in their sides. Forgot to write that. So we have TS, that has two tick marks, which is going to be equivalent to J. But remember, or to um, our JK. But remember, we have to go in the same part as our corresponding parts. Since t corresponds to k, I'm going to say this congruent part is going to be k to j. right? Because t corresponds with k, and s corresponds with l, which l is not there. So let's go back and see. s corresponds to l. Very good. So ts is right there. So that should be l, not j. Already making some mistakes. So it should be TS is corresponding to KL. Then we can just go with SR. It's corresponding. Since S corresponds to L, and it goes L to R, we know that L is going to go to J. L to J. And then the last one is RT. RT is going to correspond to JK. And there you go. Yes? You did them the other way? That's fine. I mean, you said, did you do? If you say name all of them, do you want us to do that? What do you mean? Do you want us to put some around like you just did right there? Right there? Yeah. No, no, you already labeled the line. TS is that line. It doesn't matter if you label it TS or, I'm sorry, TR is this line. It doesn't matter if you label it TR or RT. The only thing you have to make sure is if I say TR is the name, okay? If I say TR, then I have to label this one as KJ, right? Because they both start at this angle that has two arcs, and they both go to the other angle that has one arc. So you have to remain consistent, all right? So you can do it as J and R to T and K. That's fine, but as long as you're consistent, you just can't do this. All right, go from angles that are not um, congruent to each other, not corresponding to the other angle. All right, so it's okay if you swapped them like that, but you only had to do <coughs> it three ways. So those are those corresponding parts. Okay. Good questions. Good. Yeah.